My brothers and sisters in Islam, there is an incredible story of sheer absolute resistance and power and strength and firmness that is coming out from Turkey this morning. There is an old woman that was under the rubble and finally since the earthquake until now they managed to locate her and as they were bringing her out she was unscarfed. She did not have the hair scarf on so she refused to come out until she finds her head scarf, her khimar, her hijab. And they gave her one, she put it on her head and she came out. Allahu Akbar, what an incredible story of resilience and power and commitment upon the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a moment like this, especially an old woman like this, what would think or what would you think would go and come across the mind of such a person. Generally, people today, when they are tested in a calamity like this, they begin to question and doubt their faith and doubt Allah Azza wa Jal. Why did this happen? Why did Allah send this calamity upon me? Why am I under the rubble? What did I do? These are the questions that people will ask. SubhanAllah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the worst thing you can do in a calamity is to disobey Allah Azza wa Jal. And this woman is teaching us that the obedience of Allah Azza wa Jal in the middle of a calamity is what is going to save you because it doesn't matter if your body perishes it doesn't matter what matters is if your iman and your relationship with Allah perishes this is where the problem is this is where the real calamity is Allah Azzawajal does not send the calamity to hurt the slave he does not send the calamity to harm them rather he sends it to remind them so that they turn back to him and if you can learn this lesson in the middle of your calamity Allah you have achieved everything you can achieve in this world delight we ask Allah Azzawajal to relieve our brothers and sisters that are still stuck under the rubble and to bring peace and tranquility upon the families and upon those who have lost their loved ones and to have mercy upon shuhada those who died as martyrs bi and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive our sins.